All right, welcome back. Uh, this is Milrocka PDX. Uh, you have uh, Tony commenting on this control episode with Daniel behind the controls. Hello again. All right, uh, what we got? Unknown caller, speak with Emily. All right, so we're checking back. Oh, okay, so you just dealt with uh, Tomasi in the mailroom, and uh, now you gotta go back and report to Emily in the executive room, boardroom. I think you've been in there, but worth checking. Yeah. And I think triangle's your melee attack. Yeah. <laughs> Eeps. Did we already listen to the... Uh, yeah, we listened to the radio station, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. I believe so. Yeah, pretty, I'm pretty sure we did. It's a pretty lengthy one, so... That's what that was, yeah. Took that fall like a champ. How do I... huh. I guess I need to go... Oh, I probably need to go up no. through dead letters and back to the cafeteria or through the mail room. Um, I think you can go through the cafeteria because I think that's how you get here, maybe. But yeah, I think you can... So if you take a right... Um, I, I guess you gotta maybe take those stairs. Maybe. And then... Oh, cafeteria is down. Go, um, take the map down for a second. I need to navigate. Yeah, go that way. And then, yeah, take a right. And then, take a right. Okay, so you do go through dead letters. Okay. There, there might be a faster way. Um,. Breathe. Sometimes there are things hidden in the bathroom, so it's, it's not like uncalled for to check. Yeah, so you just you have to go the long. Oh, you can tell you can uh, fast travel through the control points. Oh. So there's that. Oh, yeah, fire grids. It's probably not bad. What do you got on right now? You have a oh, you oh, have yeah. rate of fire. Reload on. efficiency. Excuse okay. me. Uh, so, which isn't terrible. You're reloading really, really slow. Idea. Yeah. Shatter recoil. That's for a different gun. Well, form. I'll go with that reload efficiency. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Oh, you don't have a level two clearance. I would just teleport. Otherwise, well, I mean, I don't know. You can have an encounter through dead letters or uh, through. Where are you actually? With the central, that one. I wonder what fast traveling would uh, really be like. It'd just be like teleporting. Well, unless you got load times. It'd be like Stargate. And you're opening the can of worms, like, what is it, like, Star Trek, where you're literally turned into 
particles of energy that tear you apart atom by atom and then reconstitute you somewhere. Jesse, exactly. did you get the hotline? I mean, how is it out there? The comms, the hiss? Sorry, you made it. I'm glad. Emily, let's talk. I got the hotline. I can make out what Trench is saying now. Incredible. What did he say? He talked about his management team. People who knew the Bureau of Secrets. Your boss, darling. Tomasi, but he's gone. He has gone. Salvador? He's the head of security. That's a floating and Marshall? Dude. Yeah. Helen Marshall is head of operations. She's tough, ex CIA. She took her Rangers and went to the research sector to secure the HRA production. She hasn't come back. Someone who could help us. The other sectors. How do I get there? It's impossible because of the internal lockdown. You can perform a directorial override to lift it, but that can only be done in the maintenance sector. Normally, you take the sector elevator down there. It connects all the sectors, but it won't work while the lockdown is in effect. We already got past one lockdown. Maybe I can find a way. Jesse, look, with no prep, no training in this extreme situation, you are doing phenomenally well and all that and his can't seem to affect you i mean i would love to run some tests on you if you agree that is we could find out something that would help us tests i don't know she might find out about you but i wouldn't mind understanding more myself okay if you think it will help great I'll check the internal documentation for any lockdown bypasses. We need to get these sectors open to locate Darling and Marshall. And I'll look for a way inside the maintenance sector. The sooner we find one, the sooner I reach this override. This is just the board explaining capturing control points. Uh, okay. All right. Um. It's just a straight five percent increase to energy if compared to recovery. Oh, energy boost, 5%. Um, so you can recover 15% or you can get a 5% total boost. Recovery is more valuable now. Probably. So um, I would read the document for... So pretty much every time you come back here, there's going to be like a new document in this boardroom. Analysis of his... Threat Part 1 Confidential Summary Initial encounters with the entity known as the Hiss have revealed various behavioral facts. Most notably, the Hiss is able to invade or corrupt the control points, altered items, and even humans, radically changing their behavior, 
Curiously, any person wearing one of the wearable HRA devices that Dr. Darling has been distributing over the past few weeks was not affected by this corruption. The only ex known exception to this fact is the new director, Jesse Faden, who possesses an inherent immunity to the hiss. This could indicate that she has already been corrupt, corrupted, but her behavior is so in contrast to that of the hiss that I have dismissed the theory. My final observation comes from Ms. Faden herself. She is able to cleanse material and organisms of the hiss corruption. She tested this ability on a hiss corrupted entity, but unfortunately the process seemed to kill the host. Perhaps the host's physiology became, becomes reliant on the hiss. More work to be done. Refer to file redacted for full report. Hi, Jesse. So you can paste these out or you can knock them out, all out. It's up to you. So HRA stop you from becoming a hiss? It seems that way. I mean, I hadn't even heard of an HRA until a few weeks ago when Dr. Darling started handing them out. Well, I began analyzing mine as soon as I got it. I mean, each one it seems to emit a powerful short-range frequency way beyond anything I've ever seen. Doesn't the timing seem suspicious? I thought that too. Dr. Darling usually likes to unveil his latest breakthrough in big presentations. With these, he just passed them out. Yeah, his behavior makes me wonder what exactly he knew. Where did the hiss come from? I'm not sure. You said the hiss was here when you entered. Did you see anything like that outside before you came in? No. No, just inside. The source is internal, then. See, the oldest house is a sprawling complex with openings to other places as well. I don't even know where to start looking. But in the context, it's good news. The lockdown holds. The hiss escaping the building would be the end. Pretty shitty world out there if you ask me, but I wouldn't want the hiss to destroy it. I'm with you on that, Emily. You mentioned the oldest house. What is it? This building, the bureau headquarters, the oldest house, is a shifting place. I, you've seen it. It transcends its physical limits. I've been to New York a few times. How didn't I notice this place? It's an attribute of the building. This is a place of power. The oldest house doesn't like attention, so unless you're purposely trying to find it, you don't, which is perfect for us. The work we do here is essential, but unstable. The Bureau prefers not to be noticed. And we need strong walls to make sure nothing gets out. So without you, I never would have found the front door. Okay. This trench guy. I keep hearing him in my head. Is he a ghost? Haunting me? I doubt we're talking about a ghost in the traditional sense. But an echo, maybe. See, if he was killed by the service weapon, your gun, maybe it's his final thoughts recorded by the bullet in his brain, like a, a deep space probe sending back data. But that's just a hypothesis on my part. I'd need the gun to research it. But you better hold on to that, given the circumstances. I think I will. Yeah. Can you tell me what an object of power is exactly? This is all... Well, new to me. <laughs> Don't worry, I love going over the basics. So objects of power are mundane objects that house paranatural energies and have developed a link to the astral plane and can thus be controlled, which is what differentiates them from altered items, which are still housings of paranatural forces, but are more volatile and cannot be bound in the peri-utilitarian sense. Got it? Did she memorize this? Got it. Thanks. There you go. Thanks, she Emily. Seems almost, uh, I'm sure I'll have more questions soon. Robotic. <laughs> Just let me know. This is a bureaucrat, for sure. There's a upgrade box back there. I don't know if it had been opened already. The very back. Good eye. Just 
upgrade stuff. Do you hear that? Someone's singing. Where is it coming from? That's her, just background stuff. She's just gonna say things. Um, I don't know what to comment about that. I mean, we're still kind of in the like it's coming from the elevator. Early phases here. Oh, it's Ati. You can hear Ati singing. Search for a way into the maintenance sector. And the containment sector. Where is the maintenance sector? I don't even see it on the map. It's on a different floor. You gotta oh, go to the elevator. The elevator sector, elevator straight ahead. Time to work. Meet me in the maintenance. Okay, so you literally can hear the janitor in your head. Huh. Like I said before, the janitor is a friendly face. I wonder what cassette tape he has in that Walkman. Like aha, uh -huh. you Econ you will actually get to find out. The right. maintenance sector is the janitor domain. If I can find Ati here, he can help me reach the override. Maybe it was you who got me into the oldest house with the lockdown on. If you can open that, maybe probably it not. Was Ati. Nope. It felt like he made the elevator appear that took me to Trench's office. Is Ati guiding me too? It's funny because, I mean, Adi made it pretty clear that he's the boss, and but everybody just is like, you're clearly a janitor, so, um, and I am the director. Don't a lot of janitors uh, take the credit for running places? Yeah, we, well, we talked about that, and that's sort of a um, Finnish Scandinavian joke is that, that, that there's sort of a running joke about the... The cleaning person the override is right there. being like the, the real one, there. making things happen. And or like even for all mankind has a standard to talk about how he puts uh, people on the moon effectively. Mm -hmm. You know, he does things that help make that happen. Right. Well, and it's 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 that sentiment, but like taken to the, like the ultimate extent with Ati. These ones look uh particularly intense are those rangers yeah those are um i think those are the flying son of a bitch rangers <laughs> all right oh hello sniped I was watching a uh, hidden machine channel theorizing about how um, we might see a lot of quantum break stuff sort of happening in, in Control 2. And uh, Remedy's been trying to get another game of some form off that I think is much more like soldiers. And in Quantum Break, there's a company called Monarch that has soldiers, not unlike these. Um, control Bureau Rangers and um, it would have been interesting it, it was it was clear that they were gonna have some version of that and it just never has seemed to take off and they haven't been able to pull it off so I, it might I think it's a reasonable assumption that it might get folded into control too hmm. to be interesting. I mean, you get to fight a lot of them in the, um, like, uh, I don't know what you call it, like a raid with the jukebox, which I've never really bothered to delve into too deeply yet, but 
I think they would have something where you like play the rangers or something along those lines. I don't know. Or maybe it would have been a, a different reality with a different iteration on the concept. Some hybrid of Monarch and, and Rangers from Control, who knows. Um, oh yeah, stuff will definitely spawn in here. Definitely recharging faster. Yeah, I made a pretty big difference. Hello. Wave two. This is just regular cards. Throw that gas can. Red stuff usually does explode though. Yeah. Fire extinguishers are pretty dope. It's still a one one shot at him. So. Oh, for sure. Especially yeah, just a guard. Oh, that's a ranger. Was a ranger. <laughs> that's the one tricky about this air level. It's like the. Two, two levels here, the catwalks. And watch out for the guys down below. Messed up, got on the catwalk. Grab that Illuminati thing. Where? To the right. This is just material. Oh, right there. What is it called? Ritual Impulse? Okay. I mean, it's, again, it's more build materials. This is like. Not even consequential, really. You'll just a aggregate that stuff until you can finally upgrade some gear. So again, like, one of the weaker parts of the game is, like, how kind of not interesting that part is. I'm not, like, completely mad it's in the game, but it's just not... It doesn't feel like it adds a whole lot to it. You can't really do anything in here until you, uh... Uh, later go... Like you don't even have the mission to deal with these, but you get a you get a um, you go to an area and handle some tasks, and you'll be able to go into these rooms without getting taking damage. Gotcha. So there's no point in messing with them really until you do that. Oh, the destructibility is so delicious. Yeah. I, I recently heard Red Faction is coming back. Speaking of destruct <laughs> destruction. Nice. Um, no, no real idea about like what that means, like There's what it will track. be. Yeah, um, but supposedly Red Faction's coming back. I never even played like the last game they had. Is that two? Or no, they had a third one. I'm pretty sure I played two. The third one I didn't play. Had like a semi open world thing going on. Yeah. I played the second one, it definitely felt like it was on rails. Yeah, 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 yeah. The 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 first one amazing. It, you know, definitely showing its age. But uh was j just good, especially when it came out, just like wow. The second one definitely felt like they Yeah, put it on rails is a good way to put it. Although I will say that, like, I feel like the story in the second one was perhaps, if not better, was like, mm, was like decent anyway. Well, and the graphics were way more polished. Yes. Yeah, it, it was a, a pretty good looking game for the time. Short, probably, if I recall. Yeah. And, uh, much more limited use of the destruction. Um, uh Oh, 100%. 10,000%. Okay. Right. But, um... I remember something about a railgun. I think the railgun was in the first game, too, but... The railgun being a big deal in the second one. Okay. 
okay. So, what's it doing? Ooh, ow. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, oh, there was a guy behind you. That could explain. Pick up some blue health. There you go. There you got it. Oh, and he cleared it. Alright. And you healed. Doesn't take much when you got so little health. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, What's cool. That way? Jenner's office. Oh, yeah. Go, go ahead. No, no, no. Go down that hall. The weird... Yep, do it. So... I think my mistake in my playthrough was, I, I honestly, I think you should just do all side objectives. When you get them, just do them, because they'll help you get stronger. And yeah. I was I was running into issues where I just wasn't strong enough to beat bosses. And I think if you just do the side content and like let it like help you power up, it'll be worth it. Oh, I think we got another. Um, Threshold kids. Yes. Can I just go straight to watching it? I don't know. Let's find out. Did it unlock it? It would be under collectibles. Yeah, media, multimedia. Because it's so much better watching. I agree. Uh, so yeah, Threshold kids. Aside from Threshold Kids, I can't understand a single word those kids were singing. Well, the names. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. I miss my home. Okay. That's, that's wonderful. <laughs> Strange light in the break room. Oh, 
There you go. Now you have a bed. Whoops! What? Nice. <laughs> that didn't work out. Mm. What? Okay. <laughs> it's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought Elden Ring was tarred. Yeah. What the <laughs> hell? There we go. Yeah. You jump and you did, and there you go. Got it. Use your bid to complete African challenge. Oh, they're gold, they are immune to attacks, so you just have to evade attacks. You did it. In the bag. Fantastic. Oh, wait, there's one. Getting around with the bead. I'm friggin' blind. Yep. I'm so blind. It's kind of one of the more unique um, power upgrade encounters, honestly. Hmm. I can just imagine, like, accidentally skipping that one. I'm just like. Uh, the blinky lights are uh, creeping me out a bit too much. I'm, uh, I'm uh, I mean, not gonna do it. It was kind of unnerving. Mm -hmm. it wasn't like natural to. No. Oh. Yeah, that's just material. This is a bit, just ignore it if this is material. You got a case file. What did you, oh, because you did the thing. Merry go round horse OOP 16 KE containment procedure. Objects should be kept in confined space when unbound. Description per utility. Fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry go round ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances high speed. This can be quite dangerous when redacted its path. The object is currently bound by redacted background. The object was discovered at the site. Honestly, given how quickly these documents update, I even wonder if it's like just moved to straight saying that it's Jesse. Um, background: The object was discovered at the site of the abandoned amusement park. Local redacted reported the or local local agents maybe reported that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the Bureau, see America Overnight, episode 235, interesting. Agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local redacted were found dead at the scene. The object attacked agent redacted by redacted. Agents invoked Formula C.5 to redact the object long enough to redacted. Wow. Okay, interesting. So that kind of alluded to tactics of the agents to deal with the um, OOPs. Is that Christopher Walken? It's Otzi. Although, if this was ever a movie, Christopher Walken would, would make it an amazing Otzi. Yeah. Of course, Otzi would make an amazing Otzi. Um, yeah. Whatever the actor's name is. Uh, would look it up, but I'm not at this moment. Huh. Or Jim Carrey. Mm. Well done. You got the job. It's place for congratulations. Yippee, Satana. It happened in the last drop. You remember that he's all over Alan Wake too? An assistant. No, I was going to say Funny another actor, is, Willem Dafoe. Like a better janitor. Hundred <laughs> percent. More in that role than is the director. Only Ati here seems to see that. Yeah, hi, Ati. Look, we need to get the lockdown lifted, otherwise I can't get to the other sectors. Can you help me get to the override? Yes, yes. Easy peasy. It's just Definitely around the corner. 
Yes. But first, we need to get you working. Very small couple of hours job. Something tells me it's going to be more than that. Ah, you think there's a dog buried in this? <laughs> I can tell you are not the yesterday's Krause's son. That's why you make a great assistant. Very well. I'll hit the facts on the table. I'm not going to tell you that this house has a vermin problem. A bad one. They've already messed up the cooling pumps. And the power generators of a power plant. And the pensioner inside. He's starting to feel the band around his head tighten. The situation needs to be fixed before the plant blows up. And we all disappear like a part in Sahara. Trying my best to keep up with this. Fix the coolant pumps and the power generators, otherwise the power plant will blow. But don't you worry. I've left you clear instructions. You'll catch the end of the thread before I go to my vacation. There you go. Ooh. The works on the task board here. You can do later when you have time. Vacation. Oh. Right. Yes. No one's gonna cancel my holiday or seeds gonna rattle. But don't worry at all. You'll take care of it and soon this crisis gonna be last winter snow. You better go now. So you don't have to run with your head as your third leg. The door in the back leads to the plant. The door in the back. That's great. Thank you, Ati. So I don't know if you can get it yet, but there's uh, a janitor's outfit for Jesse in here. Somewhere. You might, you might have to unlock it or something, but um, I've never really used it. Really? No, because you have to go to the central executive to actually even be able to change your outfit. Oh. Um, but while actually doing maintenance tax, tasks in the maintenance outfit would actually be kind of funny. Yeah. Um, and again, I recommend just doing these. Just like knock these fuckers out and get the 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 buffs from, from doing the assignments. This is also a very simple one. Burn it into a reindeer, not into a moose. That is. Okay, so what happens again? I want to understand that one. Power. Explosion. What? Oops, sorry. Um, can I get to the furnace? Ventilation. I've been here before. Right. Yeah, that's... This is... So you might need to go back forward. Um, and to open the menu. Uh, no, not, that's the map. Open the menu. Collectibles. Hotline. The director was trying to talk to you. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about the power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end. Contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time. Keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. All 
Alright. So, burn the trash. Okay. Let's see if we can see if the furnace is on the way. This is all on the way to the power station, but the furnace might be on the way, maybe. Yeah, I think you gotta go that way. I think it's that bottom one, but we'll see. Federal Bureau of Control, attention, maintenance, staff. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-round horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind it to yourself. Your security chief, Simon Arish. Sorry, guys. That's a friendly. It's I dangerous to... out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. I want one of those. When do we have the vision? It's funny. It's actually like a kind of old school, like Russian um, machine gun. Oh yeah, it really is. That, that nice. like. Mm -hmm. magazine, yeah. I don't know if that's exclusively what that is, but that's what it makes me think of. There might be like a French weapon that hey, does that too, hey. now that I think about it. Yeah. Security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah, Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Thank you, Mr. Director. Uh, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. Faden, ma'am. Look, as you can probably tell, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and... My crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. So what's inside is dangerous. And Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. He smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Well, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. Or, or he's compromised. Sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. Yeah. Definitely compromised. Hmm. Um, Blockages in pipe C through F. Is the clock back? Um, now. Oh man, audio is going to be so. There we go. Federal Bureau Control. Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Ati, just tell him you'll handle it, and I'll leave it at that. Under no circumstances should 
any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him so you could be better deal with his odd habits. But yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on next steps. Cheers. Lynn. Yes, in case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. So there, the foundation is hinting at one of the expansions. There are two control expansions. There's AWE and the foundation. Foundation is much more about the origins of the Bureau and relations to kind of how the oldest house works and stuff. And AWE is basically the Alan Wake expansion. Oh, yeah, that makes it sense. This is also their in-world term for altered world events, which is when these confluences of meme-like Jungian concepts tap into the power of the astral plane and manifest on in the world. I can see Polaris pointing you to go somewhere. I can see he's got some more dialogue options. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. Oh, he's got all kinds of things. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. Let's and you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd uh, jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. What do you know about the Hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? <laughs> what exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me. But I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau. And it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. I think it's director only. Salvador told me about the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. Dude has got some crazy stories. He probably knows more than anyone else around here. He can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. <laughs> he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? That's, that's got to be such a, a, a great, I like, go. yeah, finish, finish, remedy finish, finish, joke. Yeah, finish yeah. developers. Constantly being, like, yeah, like close enough. Passed over for Sweden. Confused for whatever. Mm. Yeah, get that control point. New bonfire. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's actually, you know, I never have thought about this game in those terms, but yes. Just gonna choke them out and take their weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, boss. They didn't lean enough into the Metal Gear. They should have given you the option. Alright, so hold on, look at that sign behind you. Yeah, uh, coolant 
further maintenance control. Okay, none of this is obviously pointing to the... Um, I'm, I'm pretty sure that like middle down um, room is where the furnace is, which is still your technically your your mission right now. Isn't so, that where I came from? Uh, no. So I don't know. Like one of these rooms should take you down there. Ventilation is where you came from, I think. I don't know. Maybe you gotta complete this uh, main mission before you can get in. I'm, I'm not positive. I don't remember. But it's okay. Should have more meta commentary prepared, but um, not coming to me at the moment. It'll, it'll come to me. My eyes open. We ain't out of the woods yet. All right. Yeah, I'll just just go go knock out stuff. I guess I guess just head to the cool. Just like, just whatever. Signs over there. Cooling water this way. Yeah, well, it's, it's going into the plant. You go down to the cooling house. Oh, okay. It's a big ass room. Oh, here they are. The enemy type. You guys are bastards. Yeah, watch out. It's just fun and then from other directions, too, I think. that a lot um, where the strafing and trying to hit them isn't very easy it's, I don't know, it's kind of a tricky thing Phil research on his entity his charged agent confidential summary the his charged agent are examples of extreme physical deformation resulting from his corruption his charge display an unthinking fixation on any non-corrupted individuals in the area once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused hiss resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The hiss charge it's, is depleted of the hiss corruption after the eruption, and the host is left lifeless. Okay, well that's an uh, interesting but horrific detail. This behavior may be adaptive response to the HRAs. Oh, this hiss charge are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance. Is the hiss it? That's interesting because there's just not quite enough of the team up portions. There's a little bit that you'll encounter where you like call in a ranger and and like have some scenes where there's like some um, friendlies around, and I just don't see enough of it to recognize where this like really comes in. But it's speaks to an intention where this would be like a mechanic you would be like concerned about where you'd have enemy types that would be like essentially um, debuffing your allies making them vulnerable to corruption and that would be interesting this behavior may be adapted response to HRAs the hiss charge are des designed to blow the device off potential host exposing them to resonance is the hiss capable of customizing a corrupted host altered ability of this degree. Why is the physiology of this charge so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. Refer to file redacted for a full report. I mean, it also can just ex like explain as to kind of why they're so effective at overrunning the security because they're highly adaptive. So, I mean, just generally speaking, it still works as a good lore device. But it does make me wonder if it was hinting at some mechanics that just never got to be fully realized. 
because even if it does do that to like the occasional ally that you have around, it's nothing that like you would ever basically ever notice. Looks like we're heading in the right mm -hmm. direction. Yeah, I think so. All right, I think this is your first encounter of adding a charge battery to a, um, like a socket, I guess would be the way to put it. I need a couple things here. Shatter. Okay, so you have straight 23% damage boost, which I would say Ooh. is an absolute yes. Yeah, that's pretty solid, even with the solid, uh, slow reload mm -hmm. time. That's pretty sick. I like doing damage. <laughs> oh, hello. Power cut. Replace the parts. Yeah, alright. So you just gotta put this charge box back into the socket. A little battery. With your telekinesis. So there's a socket above the door. Just gotta use my gravity gun. Yep. Throw it right in there. There, there you go. All right, looks like you just got a um, arena battle with some rangers for the control player. Right, my cheap shots in while I can. Sure. Throwing some grenades. Fucking jerks. Don't forget, you can apparently crash behind cover. Something I never realized. And, and apparently do a little pop outs. Look at that. No idea. You have to reactivate it. Oh, you do? That's useless. I did not. Re I thought you just pop in there. That's, no, that's I, was, I mean, I thought I was doing it earlier, but it doesn't seem to go back to Maybe it. that doesn't count as the same kind of cover. Although you're doing a little, like, lean thing like you're in cover. Oh, that's an explosive thing you can telekinetically throw. The one like you got that? highlighted. Yep. No, not that one. I mean, that still hits the cover, but that one will explode. That was yeah. pleasant. Yeah, that was good. All right, we just got one more. We're pretty tough to... Well, I think it's one more. Nope, something else. Something else here. Where? Oh, hello. Oh, it's one of these jerks. Oh, this is like a Nazi style guy. Okay, yeah, you gotta definitely watch out for that shit. That shit is there you go. Yeah, yeah, you got it. So, yeah, if you throw the stuff, it seems to, like, make them vulnerable. So you just throw a couple things. You may not hit them with the telekinetic attacks, but you'll make them vulnerable to your shots. That seems to be the way Keep to go. Keep them on their toes. Yep. Or heels. Keep them on their heels. You got it. Gotcha. Right, take the control point. That's the furnace. I don't know if you can knock that off in time. I think we'll sign off. Yeah, yeah I think signing off would be smart. Alright. This has been Control on Mo Rocket PDX. Behind the controls is my brother Daniel. And you got me, Tony, commenting. We're gonna see you next time. Bet.